Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to build a rib. Take a look at the back of that airplane. There's a couple of ribs behind the spar that's damaged. Now, people try to make these freehand. It's a bad idea. What we did is we took tape and taped onto one of the good ribs. Took a pencil once the tape was on there, rubbed along it so that we got the uh, proper contour, pulled this off, took a pair of scissors and cut this. Then, we took that tape, put it on a nice board, cut the board to the contour, took a belt sander, and sanded this real pretty, nice and square, to the exact contour of the rib. And of course, we drew a, drilled a couple of holes in there for the uh, aileron cables to pass through. Now, Now, we're going to take our template, we cut out a nice piece of metal, make sure it's the proper metallurgy, and uh, however you cut it your business, I used a saw, and then I come back with a nice file to trim it up, like this. This does a great job, so it doesn't end up sharp and cut the living crap out of you, because uh, that just sucks. All right. Place this on your template if you don't have a fancy break, and uh, we don't. Square it all up real nice. Okay. I basically made two of these. This one is not exact, but it's pretty close, and that's going to go on the top here. Yeah, and I just moved it, didn't I? All right, that's going to go on the top, like so. If I can keep from moving it, that would be great. Okay, nice and square. And we're going to take a couple big nasty seat clamps and hold this whole assembly in place. Notice I'm clamping it directly to the bench. You don't have to. If you don't have a bench that you can uh, that will accommodate this, then you could uh, clamp the two boards together and put it right on the floor. And we got three clamps, so well, why not use three clamps? Okay. Now, get your nice board like this. This is a pretty hard oak board. And we're going to hit it in this direction right here. Come around here. Take a look. We don't want to bend it all at once. Just knock it around a little bit. little tiny hammer and finish the job off. Okay. Take our nice uh, sheet metal hammer again. And again, we don't want to bend it all at once. That'll stretch the metal. You're stretching it anyway, so but you want to minimize it, right? Notice I put the seat clamps in a manner that they wouldn't inhibit my productivity.
mess with me a little bit, but I've got it basically the shape I need, so now I can remove the seat clamps. my thumb pinching this together as I hit it. Wherever I'm hitting it, I want my thumb to be there. Now I don't want my thumb to be where between the hammer and the wood because again that okay. Now this is nothing more than a high quality wood spade bit. It will cut the aluminum and it may dust the bit if you don't uh, very easily going through there, not pushing too hard, letting it eat it up. Job done. Same thing again. So if you don't have a plasma Sure, that five dollar bit is cheaper than the plasma arc. And pull that bad boy apart. And there's your rib. Without, let's call it Egyptian style. All right, that's it.